All right, here's my review of the Needle Parlors X1 chair. And I was debating between this and um, the other guy's electric chair, which are about the same in price. So why wouldn't I want an electric chair? Well, um, you know, reputation and reviews. And uh, um, I was not sure what I wanted because um, it, the electric chair would be cool. I can push buttons, make it go up and down. and. Uh, that makes it cool, right? Um, but this one is manual, but it's very well made. And this one holds 600 pounds compared to 400 pounds, which makes a huge difference if you're, uh, even if you're a 300 pound person, you know when you sit on the edge of one of these when you're getting on it, you could still bend the hydraulic, you can still have issues. They have to sit dead center to get your full 300 to 400 pounds of even weight. Um, so it can be tricky because an overweight person, not even that much overweight, 300 pounds, I have broken a uh, few chairs, usually cheap Chinese versions, but uh, um, I have also had uh, the competitors uh, for Needle par Parlor and uh, I thought I'd try this. Um, it was a hard decision and now I think I'm glad I made that decision because if you look underneath this chair, compared to other chairs, like if you've got one, and uh, you know underneath where the hydraulic meets the plate, that plate is usually four to six inches, and that's where your weight is evenly distributed on that little bar in the middle. Well, first of all, the bar is twice as thick as the competitor, almost, and then the steel plate is probably two feet long so you're evenly distributing over the entire seat and as you can see it's quite well welded and i used to be a metal fabricator so i am always impressed with that um and everything on here is pretty much hydraulic and gear shifted so um simply done not a lot can go wrong with this and here are some things i noticed i don't know about the you know the chinese knockoffs of this um how this could be Chinese, I don't know. But uh, the quality of materials is pretty interesting because uh, um, first of all, like if you're moving, moving the legs around, uh, these little, these are soft silicone, not cheap plastic. You can just lift it, lift it up with your hands while the, the client is on the chair because I, well, I had someone on here earlier, but um, yeah. So hydraulics for that, hydraulic, um, these levers work very nice and smooth, lock everything into place. Um, um, let's see, the, the chair does go high enough. Um, I kind of wish it went a little bit higher, just for the leg and foot, um, because I'm so tall, but I just need a shorter chair. But let's go around to the back. Um, all the same things of the leg rests, and uh, of course, again, these uh, well-made, solid little one-finger adjustments. Like one finger, you can up and make everything go up and down. But if you notice the chrome bar you hold on to, not just chrome, this is stainless steel. It seems like a little thing to be impressed about, but even the bolts, stainless steel, they're not going to strip like they might on another chair. The stainless steel here means it won't rust. Um, hydraulic, up and down. Um, you know, of course, the electric one is cool because it goes up and down on an electric way. But what happens if the electric goes out um, and you have to get that fixed? Well, not a lot going to go wrong with a hydraulic pump. You just buy another hydraulic tube for 100 bucks, and then that's replaced. But this also comes with a three-year warranty, not a one-year warranty. And look, even this leg thing has been uh, um, pretty impressive. Solid stainless steel, not... Not cheap metal that is chrome plated. There is a big difference. So they spent a little extra money on some of the quality improvements. The wells, of course, are very solid, very thick. Um, and it's about 250 pounds, but it moves around very easily. Um, and, it, and it was easy to get into the shop. It's pretty well um, balanced. So, And it's got the little wheels on, on here, which are solid hard rubber, not plastic. Um, I've had a chair almost... Pretty close to look that looked like this. Don't remember the name, the brand, um, but it had plastic wheels. Um, big difference, hard rubber and plastic. It just moves better. And of course, uh, all all the other same things you might have on the other chair. The um, PVC or material here, 
does seem to be softer than other ones I have, you know. Um, I don't know how long it's going to stay soft. <laughs> um, I probably should read the cleaning instructions. Of course, you have the head pull out and uh, um, everything that moves back and forth there. I'm going to move this back down again. One finger. You see how easy that was? Um, and of course, the arms are adjustable. Um, the only downside to the arms, I wish they had a swing out thing like the, the legs do. So you can swing them back and if someone's laying on their back and you're doing the inside of a bicep, it'd be cool to move these. But like all the other chairs, you're gonna have to get yourself a armrest to move that up and, and, and do that until somebody invents something, which I think I'm gonna do and maybe try and sell it to these guys, I don't know. Um, anyways. Everything's very solid, very soft, um, softer than the other ones I've tried. Um, definitely feels like the Cadillac version of these chairs. Um, not, um, I haven't really, there's supposedly, um, some people pointed out that there is a Chinese version of this uh, from, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the, the, the place. Um, it was a salon supply place but it was i think six hundred dollars but then you're paying 250 for shipping um and it looks very similar to this but from what i could tell by the picture there there might be some cheaper um plastic parts on this and even these plastic handles for example these are solid um uh, what do you call it solid steel construction stainless and then of course you have uh Silicone not just any cheap plastic. It's this a really nice soft silicone easy to grab onto and obviously it's gonna be easy to clean as well um, I don't know. It seems very solid. I'm 300 pounds and uh, it doesn't wiggle Doesn't wiggle hardly at all um, It holds the center of gravity very well the only actual chrome plated metal of course would be the canister down at the bottom holding the cylinder up and the foot pedal with a really hard rubber um, texture on it. Uh, so that is about it. But all other construction is very well done. Um, this here is aluminum, which it looks like, yeah, it looks like an aluminum, which um, of course there is not really much that could rust on here. Not that you're going to get rusty in a tattoo salon, but you'd be surprised when you're spraying solvents and inks are flying and these things can rust. Um, yeah, even if you get down to the armrest, because everyone has problems with armrests, right? I noticed the armrest construction. The little lever here, not plastic. This is an aluminum lock lever. And uh, when you get this, you're going to be like, oh, maybe be like me. And like, oh, no, it, it doesn't lock all the way as tight as I would like it. Well, you've got also got a metal tightening, tightening rod right here. So you tighten this little thing just a little bit. Um, and then you tighten this, it'll make this stronger. So you'll always have this competitive with that. And of course, all these, these, uh, washers that also add tension. So you're going to have a really nice tension wherever you want to move this, this thing to. And you're not going to have any, uh, slip ups like you might with another, another, uh, brand. Um, and if you read reviews, you find out that happens an awful lot. So it was another deciding factor. It also comes with this. You don't have to pay an extra $125 for the armrest. It comes with two. Um, so I guess two artists can tattoo at the same time on two different arms. I guess that would be the purpose of having two armrests. Um, let's see. The armrests also go all the way flat down to the side. If you want them kind of out of the way. Um, that's about it. I, I think I'm going to be very pleased with this. I might change my review later. And I'm almost tempted to, to get that electric one that was exactly about the same price as this, just so I can compare um, side by side. That one, one year warranty. This one, three years. This one came in like three or four days. It was delivered. And uh, um, yeah, so it was delivered from California. So that was pretty pretty good trip. And it um, worked out really well. Um, I'm going to need a second chair um, in here. So I think I'm going to be... Thinking about maybe get that other one, uh, even though the reviews aren't as good, but and things break on it. But I'm a, I can weld, so I can fix anything that breaks, and maybe even improve that one. And um, this one obviously doesn't need a lot of improvements. Um, 
yeah, I don't see a lot going wrong. There's not a lot of plastic parts on here. Um, you know, the only ones I have seen would be the ends of these, but these are well made. So even if this breaks, see how the bolts are welded on and it's stainless, which is really impressive. Um, hardened stainless at that. So you're not going to strip out any bolts. Um, like you would with a competitor. Um, I'm, I'm assuming um, I'm not going to down anybody just yet because I am interested in trying it so that I can have an actual comparison. Um, if they want to give me a deal on it, that would be awesome because I wouldn't mind uh, giving an honest opinion. Um, I am impressed with it. This doesn't need to be electric. This is like one finger up and down uh, with a person on it. The hydraulic is really nice and strong, so it holds up pretty much anyone's back. Um, all right, I think that's pretty much covers um, everything on this chair that might be different than other chairs you might buy. And so you do want to ask when you buy one of these chairs, um, what is metal, you know, because you can get really soft screws and bolts made out of metal. And you, as you know, you can strip out a, a, a bolt in no time. So any moving part, you want it to be stainless, hardened aluminum, aircraft aluminum, or, you know, all quality metals. Um, and of course you don't want it to rust. Um, so they have a powder co coated hardened, um, paint on the base and, uh, all the black parts. So even that seems to be a little added extra. Um, you know, I'm going to find out soon double stitching on all this, uh, PVC material, which is probably a standard now I would hope, um, cause these things do ch um, tear and do have issues but i also read reviews that these don't this particular chair doesn't have that issue um at least not in their three-year window of uh um warranty so you tell me if uh you think your chair is better than this because i would like to try it um if you have a better chair or an equivalent chair that might be more affordable um i don't know i think the money versus what i got seems to be pretty darn good shipping was included I didn't pay extra for any of the, the arms. Uh, um, it came in just a few days. Comes with all the tools you need to put together. Yeah, literally um, six bolts. And uh, came with all the different, came with two different, three different tools. And uh, it literally took me 15 minutes to put together. I was going to do a how to put to assemble video, but um, it was uh, self explanatory and it only took a few minutes. So that part, um, you also don't have to worry. Um, yeah, you can lift this up, no problem, from the base, and it rolls around really nice around the shop, and it even rolled across my gravel driveway up two stairs into the shop. So that part was impressive, and it, those hard rubber wheels, even though they're small, they um, really went up nicely, and it didn't scratch that um, powder-coated hard black material that they have coating they have on the um the metal base um which is also impressive um when i check the bottom of that okay well that's pretty much my review i hope it helps somebody decide on what they want to get um this place does sell out of these every once in a while and because i had to wait for them to have them back in stock myself and now i finally get to try one out and i might change my review later but i have a feeling i'm not going to change my review um yeah let's see what happens